you find out that you had diabetes? What made you think you did? Um, well, I was I had just turned 18 and moved out of my house, and my dad's a doctor, so if uh -huh. I had been with him, we probably would have caught it sooner. <laughs> but I was super thirsty, and you probably know that's the main symptom of diabetes. And I was actually snowboarding, and I had to, every time I got to the bottom of the mountain, I had to get more water bottles and go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom on a run the, a couple of times. And so uh -huh. on the chairlift, I called my dad, and I said, Daddy, I need to go to rehab because I'm an alcoholic. I'm addicted to water. Uh, and he like started laughing, and I was like, no, Dad, I'm drinking like 15 gallons of water a day. Wow. So, and I'm constantly going to the bathroom. It was so inconvenient. So uh -huh. then he said, if you're serious, then you might have diabetes. And so we checked the next day, and my blood sugar was through the roof. <laughs> yeah, and so what was your thought process like when you found out that you had diabetes? When I first found out I had diabetes, I, it, I was devastated. And I had a bad attitude about it. I, I thought it would go away if I ignored it. So I just didn't test my blood sugar and didn't give insulin. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was grumpy and sick all the time and I, an emotional wreck. It was a roller coaster, blood sugar wise and emotionally. And then it was actually the Miss America organization that inspired me to get better because I heard about Miss America 1999, who was who was diabetic and wore her insulin pump while competing. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to compete and I decided if my platform or if I'm gonna inspire other diabetics, I better be taking care of myself and show them that it is possible. Because when you're first diagnosed, it kind of seems yeah. overwhelming. It's very difficult. Yeah. And as an endocrinologist, I take care of type one diabetics every yeah. day. And I have to say thank you from the diabetes community <laughs> for doing that because it's been so empowering for other patients it's to see my pleasure. to see you being willing to take a stand um, and uh, put yourself out there um, and really inspire other patients. You're so welcome. It's, it's really <laughs> exciting.